Over in Australia, it's showtime again. The Duke and Duchess of Gloucester arrived for the first Brisbane exhibition since 1941. Not far away, also in Brisbane, the echoes of Bradman's thumping first test victory added to Australian gaiety. £10,000 in prize money kept things moving. One of the day's high spots was the meet-up of the champion axemen. Handy men about the house, if we had a house. The 35,000 people saw the show's opening, and they all crowded round to watch the falls in the jumping contests. After a five-year break, Australians haven't forgotten how to run a royal show. In Bombay, another sort of festival, Hindus take part in the sacred Ganpati procession. Before police allowed it to begin, participants were searched. Those carrying knives and other weapons spent the day in jail. Arriving at Chapati Beach, they carry an effigy of Subhas Chandra Bose, pro-Japanese Indian Quisling, now dead. The peak of the ceremony is the immersion of the idols in the sea. What comes from the earth, the worshippers say, must return to the earth. In Paris, our cameraman put in a spell among the animals. The show is the famous winter circus, now all ready for opening day. Getting their first introduction to the spotlight are the show's latest recruits, lion cubs Marco and Pigal. A dog stands in for the nursemaid while Father Lion and the missus take a look at the new cycling act. Later on, everyone in the Big Top family turned up for Marco and Pigal's christening ceremony. For two cubs, a full bottle of champagne. Everything went off well, except for a little difference of opinion among the midgets. Now meet Audrey Lee, 16-year-old Tasmanian schoolgirl and proud owner of a private zoo. In her garden, animals and birds of all descriptions have staked out squatters' claims. Here's Miss Mole, the tame wombat. A born naturalist, Audrey runs her own hospital, and she is especially proud of her collection of owls. In this zoo, the eyes have it. <laughs> 